recently commissioned a piece of research to understand the experiences of men in the UK who have suffered from male incontinence. Really, this is something that has affected you in the past. Could you tell me a bit about your experience, please? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, firstly, it's, it's wonderful to be a part of this campaign. Uh, thank you for running it. So, someone that's, that's suffered, I was diagnosed in, in 2004, I think I was about 27. Uh, you know, I was, was diagnosed in the middle of my career. We had to move nearer to training ground, um, which meant I had less, you know, hopefully less opportunity of having an accident on the way to training. Um, but I'd have to leave home earlier so that I could arrive at training in case something happened. I had to change my clothes in the car, I could then have a shower when I got there. Um, <clears throat> but certainly with the facilities, you know, whenever you arrived in a in a metal toilet, it, there was there was never the provision for the disposal of you know underwear or incontinence pants or anything like that. So that's it. And, and as you as you know, um, male washrooms in particular are lagging behind compared to female washrooms and accessible washrooms. Um, in fact, there's legislation in place for provision of sanitary and waste services for female washrooms, but we don't have that in the gents. And it's one of the things that um, I was one to feel quite strongly about in the survey that was carried out by initial washroom hygiene. Um, that six out of ten uh, believe that the UK government should actually legislate for that and make that requirement in washrooms to have waste services available, and that's really important. Oh, well, certainly, from my point of view, as someone that's, that's suffered, you know, having having those situations, it just allows you a little bit more. Well, it allows you less stress because you know if you get into a toilet situation and something has happened, you've had an accident or whatever, there is your dignity will be you know afforded because you can go into a, a closed space you can then um you know sort yourself out and you can leave feeling feeling comfortable you know i've had numerous occasions over the years where that about 100 percent wasn't the case your anxiety and stress levels go through the roof um your comfort wanting to leave the cubicle um you know judgment so so this campaign and hearing that and the pushing for that legislation is uh, is music to my ears quite frankly brilliant thank you Lewis. pleasure